Hello everybody, Andrew and Grey here, yet again for another Heroes of the Storm random quick match game. What more do you want me to say, really? We're, we're used to it now, we know what we're doing. If you're getting bored of the quick match, let me know. Um, if you want me to play any specific character again, let me know. I don't have them all, so if, if I don't own them, then obviously I can't play them. And therefore, you cannot watch it. If I do own them, I will make a video on that specific character and uh, go through how I play them, what I think of them, and you can leave your comments and tell me what you think of my playstyle. Or you could not leave comments, you can just watch it, or you could not watch it, in which case you wouldn't know about it. But you know, I'd say the vast majority of people do not watch my videos. And the reason I say that is there are a lot of people. And not all of them will watch it because not all of them are interested and it, it's just the vast majority of the world will not watch YouTube videos. So here we are just waiting for the matchmaking system to work. Not a lot to say really about it. Again, let me know. I'm, I'm really, really interested in what people think on whether I should keep in this preamble, I suppose, this waiting period where I just ramble on about anything, and also the waiting for the map to load. Hopefully pretty soon there might be, I mean, you probably won't notice on this particular game, but maybe in the other vids there will be increased fidelity shall we say i'm looking at upgrading the pc a little bit uh, it's a three-year-old pc and it wasn't it was mid-range high mid-range when i got it i'm looking at updating it uh, a new graphics card a bit more memory and what is going on with the updates wow that was slow um a bit more memory uh and probably a new hard drive solid state drive as well to record to rather than uh, how I do it at the moment. Anyway, we have myself as Nazebo, the Butcher, Vala, Abatha, and Li Ming on our team, with Zeratul, Vala, Tracer, Nova, and Zagara on the enemy team. I would probably say they've got better sustain overall um, and good burst as well. We're gonna have two. Yeah, I. We're going to have two stealths on their team who can pop up and just own us pretty much whenever. Uh, Vala's got a good sustain. Tracer is very, very good. And Zagara for pushing while well, we've got the Abatha for pushing. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, to be honest, judging on the comp, if they win. Uh, we're playing Cursed Hollow, so we will have tributes spawned throughout the map. At periods, there is a pattern to them. As, uh, they've run in cycles, but I do not know them. So everything's very. Uh, let's go bottom. So I think, yeah, I think we're up against it. We're playing the Zebo, so our first one is going to be uh, our minion kills give us permanent health and mana bonus. So we gain five health and three mana when a minion dies over vo under Voodoo Ritual. Voodoo Ritual is our trait, uh, and what that does is let me just move behind here. Our trait uh, ability and attack damage poisons enemies for 46 damage additionally over four seconds. If they die, we regenerate two percent health and one percent mana. Uh, so as long as some something has been hit by us within four seconds and it dies within four seconds of being hit by us then that gets triggered and we permanently gain five health and three mana which as long as we do a fair bit of pushing um, will enable our survivability so i hear you cry probably not because we've played this before look we've got one of those on us uh, what are your abilities then? We're not doing very well because I'm talking rather than paying attention on surviving and Cigar is a very good pusher. Um, so Q is our corpse spiders and what that does it just throws out and generates some spiders in a little tiny area which then go and attack the nearest enemy. Um, those spiders cannot be targeted either. 
So what that generally means is that that's, it's guaranteed damage out to something because they can't stop that damage from happening. Our E ability sends out a, a fan in front of us, which of Toad, sorry, I am paying attention. Uh, 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 so our E, Toads, uh, five Toads out in front of us that deal 94 damage up on impact if they hit anything. And our W creates a wall of zombies which just acts as zoning, it just blocks anything uh, in there and they also attack anything that's near them. And we'll just, all I'm planning on doing at the moment is just applying some pressure stop Zag Zagara here from um, making too much of an in inroads upon us uh, and just holding our own and getting kills uh, against minions to be honest so we can get those stacks uh, next one we are going to uh, spawn additional corpse spiders whenever we can um, so we'll throw out some and over time we get an extra couple of corpse spiders over there. Uh, what they actually do is we create three more spiders over three seconds. Uh, so it just gives us a little bit more DPS. I would like some help down here because I have no mana. Get out of the way here before anything comes up, and let's just recall. At least we managed to uh, stop anyone taking that, the enemy team. While the rest of our team got down there, we're doing well at pushing them out. We'll go back. How are we at stacks? We have got 26 stacks, which I suppose is alright, but not great. So we've got an extra 130 health bonus and 78 mana. As you can imagine, this is going to stack up quite nicely across the game. Uh, I mean that we manage... Uh, let's pop that down there. Alright. And we know Nova's in there. Nova's there. There we go. We'll stop her from being able to do anything. Uh, we'll pop a wall down just so nobody can get in and out, and it also does some damage. Uh, and we'll also pop some spiders out as well. Talent available. We are going to get. What are we going to get? What does throw those down? Uh. Uh, we need to get out of here fairly quickly. Uh, so next one, we are going to uh, restore mana and reduce the cooldown. Uh, no, we're going to increase zombie wall and corpse spider duration, I've decided, because we've gone for the extra... Uh, the extra corpse spiders, we want them to last longer, therefore more DPS. Curse is spawning down uh, towards left bottom, so we'll just pop some of those out just to do some damage and hopefully something will die in the meantime. Uh, and we will pop out a wall there. That's fine, we'll just come out of the way. <laughs> Impressive. That's absolutely fine. Uh, and we'll go and rejoin the battle. Uh, not doing great hero damage wise, but we have been farming an awful lot. Our Li Ming. Uh, Uh, 
So we'll just uh, try and hold the fort while our team comes down here. <laughs> and we'll just try getting this while I'll butcher it. Nope, look at that. Um, yeah, so this is very close, I'd say. We're, we're giving and taking in equal measures almost at the moment. That trace is going to come down in a moment. They have got a lot of stealth in order to... Yes. Go, escape. Not the real Nova. Sorry, was a bit silent there. That was nicely done. Uh, but unfortunately, we managed to get our Valor as well. Our next one, as I don't. Ravin Spirit does a lot of damage and is really good in situations. However, you're immobile when you use it against this sort of damage and this sort of mobility on the enemy team. We can't take it really. Uh, conscience so we'll take our gantuan instead um, you will see what that will do in a moment yes uh, gargantuan is going to as well is going to create one of those in a specific area and that can go and attack um, pretty much whatever art will make it do a stomp and we finally managed to get Victory is near. to get excellent. Wow, so how are our lanes looking? Everybody looks fairly healthy. We need to get some more stacks to make us tankier because we need to be tanky against this team. We've also got, I was just about to say, a stealth down bottom and it is Zera tool and we can escape it, which is good. Yes. Now we know Zeratul is down here somewhere and he's going to be looking for a, to secure the kill if I've just gone sipping. So we want to lure him out ideally. Um, Shall we see who gathers enough tribute this time? So we'll just fire one of those out, hopefully it'll get something, and we will go top right. Abatha going down bottom again, or Abatha being pretty good. Um, we'll just throw that out so we've got a bit more. Uh, nope, just a little bit too late. Uh, and, and we missed out on that because we were too busy chasing. But that is absolutely fine. So next time we are going to go uh, to increase uh, the damage and area on hop of our toads. Meaning we deal quite a bit more damage and we're going to have to be careful. Okay, and let's retreat back down to mid again. I grow tired of your petty squabbling. Gather tribute. Earn my favor. So we're going to come down here. We're going to throw some of that uh, and just unload our abilities on it, just so we can clear that wave and also get some stacks as well. Uh, that was probably not the right thing to do, but at least we know where everybody is now. Save our Li Ming. Maybe I should have continued recalling, but I feel I'm going to be dead either way on that. 49 stacks, so 245 bonus health and 147 bonus man uh, mana. Not great at this stage of the game. 
I need to become a tank and I am not doing that. We have got rid of everybody bar Tracer. And we have got it. We No, we should be pushing. We shouldn't be catching. No, push, push. I completely disagree with strategy. I am of the opinion that if you're going to get boss when a curse is on, you need to have started it before the curse lands, and you need it very, very quickly to get the full pushing power. Otherwise, you are better off um, grouping up and pushing a single lane as a team. Uh, next talent we are going to do, we can either... Oh... We're going to create corpse spiders upon exploding our toads. Uh, so we're just going to throw some toads in there. We're also going to put that down as well. Butcher wants to take the top. I think it's a bad idea personally. Oh, Val is about to die from El Zeratul. Um, I think this is an obvious move and we're going to be countered. But what do I know? Okay, we. I really want to. No, I really want to get rid of this middle. I really want to get rid of this middle tower, please, people. Um, I mean, look at the damage those toads and spiders do now, and all that is giving me stacks as well. So we can't really complain. We'll just get that out as well. Make sure they're on the on the very edge. Uh, and that's all we need to do. Uh, that's all I want to do. I just wanted to destroy that particular tower. Uh, get a camp. And we are starting to do a lot of damage now. Or another. Um, let's throw that out. Let's chuck out some s frogs because we want the stacks. Always want the stacks. Oh, hello, Vala. Find your peace. this mercenary camp. Uh, good for you. I'm going to throw those off just so I can take some um, take some stacks. So stacks up to 77. Still not amazing, uh, if I am honest. But at least we're getting them now, and we're becoming a little bit more tanky. Um, my Zagara is looking after the mid. We're what do I know about T-Cop, as I was saying earlier? Uh, we are two levels ahead. So, are we letting them take that? One thing with that's really good. One thing with our character here, Nazebo, is not to forget when we've got our um, gargantuan out to hit R just to do a stomp. It deals a fair bit of damage, um, and damage is good, as we all know. So we will come down here, nicely done. Uh, and yeah, why not? Well, Uh, 
Uh, final talent, we're going to make sure... We, I, I didn't even read what I could have had. Um, I probably could have chosen. Okay, 35 seconds till our boss is up. And that's their defences down. Everybody's going Gather to... Yeah, I see. Or face my curse. The choice is simple. Um, let's go and grab this and then we can get our boss and that will be ideal, I think. Okay, got to keep our eyes open for... That, basically. Uh, and let's go and get boss. Stacks are at 92, which isn't too bad. Let's... I want more stacks. I want more stacks. Um, we can potentially win here if we're careful. Shall we see who gathers enough tribute this time? We need that tribute. We need that tribute so our boss can push. Um. We'll help Val there a little bit. Keep that pressure applied. There we go. Well done. Well done Your enemies shall be weakened. That, that wasn't bad. What do I know about tea compositions, eh? Just goes to show. Answer, Victory. I know absolutely nothing. That was a good game. I enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it as well. I didn't see how many stacks we had in the end. Um, So we had four kills, 18 assists, and two deaths. Our siege damage was 75,322. Our hero damage was just under 20,000, which isn't great for Nazebo. Um, we could have done a lot better there, quite frankly. Hmm. Um, but we did have the most XP contribution throughout the game at just over 16,000. Again, Azeba can be very good if you make him very tanky, and the way you make him tanky is by killing minions waves. We probably didn't do as much of that as we could have done, and we certainly didn't deal as, as much damage as we could have done. Our talents, if you want to see what I chose, uh, Death Ritual, so we permanent gain 5 health and 3 mana when a minion dies in the Voodoo Ritual. Again, it makes you extremely strong towards the end. Spider Clusters, uh, so you create 3 more, excuse me, a moment. You create three cup spiders over three seconds, and again, they cannot be targeted, so that is pure DPS you're dealing as long as they're, they're active. Then we uh, Gidbin, which is increase the duration of our zombie wall, which is fine, and our corpse spiders, we want more corpse spider duration because we've got more corpse spiders around, therefore we do more damage, so it increases it by a third. We get a gargantuan, which as you saw, some of the gargantuan that guards us for 20 seconds, it deals 151 damage to nearby enemies in the immediate area when it is summoned, and then any attack it does is 219 damage, and the R when it's out is a stomp, which does an extra 181 damage. We then go make our toads huge with toads of hugeness which uh, makes our plague of toads damage and area is increased by 20% after each hop so you want to make sure you try and hit things on the final hop on the very end of that range because you're increasing the damage being done and at the same time the at level 16 they explode when they die and create corpse spiders I do not know if those corpse spiders then create a another three more spiders over three seconds 
I would like to think they do, but I've not tested it. Please let me know if you have, and uh, let me know if you do or you do not. And at the end, we didn't really have a look, uh, but I always go for some reason for this, uh, which means I'll go Genshu and it's permanently there unless it is killed and deals 100% more damage against non-heroic targets, which includes structures as well. Let's see what we could have got on that. Where's, uh, where's Nazebo? Uh, no, it's a talent that I want. So at level 20 we could have got basic attacks change to enemy and mercs. Probably not. Probably very useful on Tomb of the Spider Queen and the like, but not so much on this. And then Bolt of the Storm, uh, which is a teleport, so I think we made the right choice. Anyway, uh, if you do want me to make a video, these are the, um, as you can see on your screen now, these are the heroes that I currently have. And of course the levels they are at the moment. Okay. So hopefully you all enjoy that. Um, again, as always, if you did like, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Uh, let me know why if you want. It's much appreciated. Uh, uh, also, if you're liking any, the things that I'm doing, please subscribe. And I shall see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.